नमस्कार मित्रों वेलकम टू माई शो फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई हैव फॉर यू अ बुक टाइटल द इंडियन म्यूटनी ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन ऑथर्ड बाय जॉर्ज ब्रूस मैलसन फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ बुक ऑफ सम टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट पेजेस पब्लिश बाय रूपा पब्लिकेशन हु हैव डन अ गुड जॉब द प्राइस ऑफ दिस बुक इज रुपीज टू सेवेंटी एट एंड इट हैपन्स टू बी द फिफ्थ प्रिंट और इम्प्रेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक Uh, that came out in uh, 2016 malison lived from 8th of may 1825 to 1st march 1898 he was an officer born in uh, wimbledon and educated at uh, Win- winchester thereafter he obtained uh, the cadetship in the bengal infantry in 1842 and served through the second burmese war He was a prolific writer. He had written extensively on the Sepoy uh, Mutiny. He, his important works include History of the Indian Mutiny of 1857-1858 uh, that runs into 6 volumes and this is part of that History of the French in India and the Decisive Battles of India. He even authored the biographies of the Mughal emperor Emperor Akbar. the french governor general duplex and the british officer robert clive for the rulers of india series he died in london on 1st march 1898 friends uh, the the mutiny of 1857 remains an event shrouded in mystery and intrigue its very significance that it is that is uh, whether it can be considered as the first war of independence continues to be uh, questioned the the causes of the mutiny are main, many but all elusive and so are the consequences of the mutiny but the moot point is did the mutiny ring the death toll of the british empire or was it a mere speck of uh, exaggerated trouble uh, the book takes you through that Uh, out here i would also like to say even jallianwala bag is considered an event uh, that pushed the british empire uh, totally back the book serves to fill a tremendous gap in narrative accounts of the mutiny and demystifies uh, lay assumptions it begins with a sizable background on the genesis of the british raj in india a move not deliberate but powerful enough to shape history for decades to come the author delves in great detail into the causes of the mutiny unlike uh, preceding writers who mostly concentrated on the consequences and this the author could do because he was a serving officer himself and was privy to many decisions and happenings with the aid of personal knowledge and observation Uh, he attempts to uh, pinpoint the latent power that drove the mutiny on he provides a realistic account of all the important operations that took place praising the heroic and criticizing the undeserving he is careful not to overlay his work with too much tedious detail where his writing remains lucid and interesting the indian mutiny of 1857 captures uh, successfully and even uncompromisingly and even that was perhaps disorganized but large in scale it deals with uh, each in- individual and geographically a- geographical area separately analyzing the causes and the effects both locally and even nationwide it captures the spirit of the time its people who fought and died and the changing attitudes of the british raj which was gradually losing control of its empire in writing this uh, short uh, history of the indian mutiny of 1857 the author has uh, aimed at the compilation of a work which when uh, complete in itself should narrate the causes as well as the consequences of the movement unforeseen and undreamt of sudden and swift in its action and which taxed the utmost the energies of the british people so even if the britishers did not say anything about it or did not talk much about it uh, within the confines 
this particular mut mutiny had really sapped the Britishers. Preceding writers on the same subject, while uh, while dealing um, very amply with the consequences, have, with one exception, but deeply shadowed forth the causes. The very actors in the mutiny failed to detect uh, detect them. Uh, so, uh, what the author is essentially trying to say is that uh, although many of these authors have written books about uh, the mutiny, but they are not very uh, clear about the causes. Most of them have gone towards uh, the final result or the consequences. In, uh, sir, there was one uh, Sir John Lawrence, the then uh, Viceroy of India from 1864 to 1869. He himself uh, has written uh, a, a book and has full knowledge of events in which he played a very conspicuous part, mistook the instruments for the chief, for the chief cause. He stopped at the at the greased uh, cartridge. Now we all know that the mutiny mutiny started because of the greased uh, uh, cartridge in which there was animal uh, lad. So he stopped at the greased uh, cartridge, but the greased cartridge was never issued to the great body of the troops, uh, if indeed to anyone. So as per the author, that probably was not the main cause because uh, the greased cartridge was not issued to uh, the entire troop. There must have been a latent motive power to make off uh, an unused cartridge a, a grievance so terrible as to rouse into revolting men whose fathers and whose uh, father's father had contributed in making of the British Empire in India. The grease cartridge too did not concern those uh, landowners and uh, cultivators of Awadh and the northwestern provinces who rose almost to a man. What that latent motive power was, the author has uh, described fully in this particular volume. In the early chapters of the book, the author com communicates that uh, uh, his belief about the mutiny is founded on personal knowledge and personal observation. Locally, uh, chief of commissariat department or at Kanpur uh, when in January 1856 Sir uh, James Outram uh, crossed the Ga Ganges to depose or remove from office the King of Awadh. I witnessed the, the indignation uh, which the very humour of, of his purpose caused among the sipahis of my own guard. So essentially when Outram had come to depose or remove uh, the, the Mughal king, at that time only there was a great amount of uh, distrust that had seeped in to all these sepoys. So the author says, I reported uh, their excited state to my superiors and was laughed at for my pains, but impressed with the accuracy of my forecast. Uh, that the uh, visualizing that the annexation of Awadh would uh, rouse indignation and anger in the Sipahi uh, army. I continued then and after my transfer two months later to an appointment in the military audit department in Calcutta to keep a careful record of several occurrences, all apparently of uh, minor import, uh, which uh, supervened when the effects of the annexation of Awadh had been thoroughly realized by the Sipahis. My observation led to the conclusion that they were thoroughly angered and a little later that their minds were being mysteriously worked upon. I kept copious notes about all this, uh, of all these matters. I observed and discussed them with my brother officers without finding that my views were shared by any of them. Essentially, it was not alone the grease cartridge, but a host of other reasons that brought about the mutiny of 1857. It would seem, however, that the officer who held uh, the responsible post of uh, town major, his name was uh, Major Orful Cavanay, had uh, from his own observation arrived at conclusions not uh, dissimilar. He has narrated in his admirable work the observations forced upon him 
by the change demeanor of the of the natives of the northwest provinces in 1856 but he too uh, stood amongst uh, high places high placed uh, europeans almost alone in his uh, convictions the fact is uh, uh, before i go for, uh, forward i would like to say that there were some officers in the in the british raj who wanted to tell the real story the real feelings of the indian people to the higher ups but uh, these guys who were holding the high positions never listened to uh, these officers the fact is that up to the very outbreak of uh, the mutiny at mirath which is present day merat no one from the from the highest to the lowest believed in the possibility of a general com- combination those and they could be uh, counted on the fingers i mean those who believe could be counted on fingers of uh, one hand who endeavored to hint at an opposite conclusion were ridiculed as alarmists so anybody trying to say that the indians are unhappy and there's likely to be a revolt uh, the british uh, british raj officers the top people thought he is an alarmist so in green was the belief in the loyalty of the sepais and so profound was the ignorance as to the manner in which their minds were affected that uh, neither the outbreak at merath nor seizure of delhi kalchali removed it so this was a big misconception uh, friends that the top british officials had that ye hamara gulam hai the sepai is my gulam so they always believed in that and that is why this uh, mutiny uh, came up and uh, when it came up they were taken by surprise the book is divided into 28 chapters that begins with the introduction and then talks about the conspirators to the first uh, mutterings of the storm and the happenings at barakpur calcutta and the northwest the revolt at uh, mirath present day merat is significant significant along with the seizure of delhi the effect of the seizure of delhi across india is described quite well the author then goes on to describe the progress of the insurrection in the northwest there are several other chapters as a spill over of the mutiny that leads to march that leads to the march to delhi and the author has listed the reasons and activities that flared up in kanpur lucknow alabad calcutta it also describes in great detail the britishers taking back famous monuments from the mutineers such as the residency of lucknow after havelock's uh, first attempts to relieve it failed the other places that the book covers are the events in sagar and narmada territories central india rajputana the mirath districts royal khand and the punjab province and even gwalior uh, it then talks of the second uh, attempt to take over lucknow residency and the gwalior contingent it also describes how sir colin campbell uh, recovers the dwab area of punjab the book also covers the rebellion in eastern uh, bengal eastern bihar and azamgarh and ilabad and eastern awadh the author has used the names of the cities and places as they were written Uh, in those days the book impacts you only if you've read it read it in a continuous stretch it brings you to a point where you start thinking that sure enough the mutiny of 1857 must have been a forerunner to the to the, to the fight for freedom in india that uh, the indians launched against the british raj in the 20th century under mahatma gandhi overall the book is a treat for history lovers it is meticulously punctuated and therefore the style of writing automatically changes and so you might take a few more hours or even days to complete the book as compared to some other present day book of uh, same number of uh, same amount of pages i would give the book 7 out of 10 a must read for history lovers so friends that's all i have for today if you like my show kindly share it also press the like icon also subscribe our channel by pressing the red icon and don't forget to press the bell so that you are notified each time we upload a video and for now goodbye and see you soon